are sick and tired of deadly violence and are now taking a stand against it. That was the message behind a big rally in Hartford today. Some of those joining the effort have lost loved ones to violence. News 8's Aaron Cox is on the scene. Turnout for this anti-violence rally was smaller than they expected, but the mothers and family members say if they are silent, nothing changes. It was June 6, 2008 on a Friday evening. A day engraved on Doris Butler Gouja's heart where today she wears a photo of her son Billy. He was just home from college when he was shot and killed visiting a friend in Hartford. It takes a lot. It's very, uh, very emotional and I still struggle with that. She joined other mothers, families and citizens fed up with deadly violence. 323 murders over 10 years. They carry crosses bearing the names. My cousin Robert Davis was like the love of my life. He made everybody in our family laugh. Elton Nice was a good friend of the family. Turnout was small, and organizers blame a Hartford community that has become numb to scenes of crime tape and stories of shootings. It's a shame that this is the normal, like a child um, getting killed is like normal, and that's not right. It's not normal. This group asking lawmakers not to cut job training and summer youth programs. It's an injustice to our communities. It's an injustice to young people. That is something that I believe will actually enhance our opportunity to overcome the violence. It's made Doris a mother on a mission to make a change, to spare another family a cross with a name. Some of these religious leaders are planning to meet with some of the young folks in Hartford over the next few weeks. They say they want to take any tension out of the upcoming summer months. Reporting on the scene at the state capitol in Hartford, I'm Erin Cox News 8.